just barely time for an introduction. David Bonson, founder and managing partner of the Bonson Group. Um, I, I don't know why stocks move one day or the next day, and I have no idea if Russia pulled troops out. That's a mystery. But the inflation problem is a problem, and it's going to get worse before it gets better, and the Fed's going to do something sooner or later. What you thinking? The inflation problem where prices are going higher for consumers spending money hurts them, lower income people. What's it do to markets? The companies with pricing power pass it on. They haven't been impacted at all. That's right. But it, does it hurt valuations of high P.E. stocks? I think it does. Does it? An interesting thing today, the 10-year was up five basis points. Markets oh. are up four or 500 points. It's now happened uh, over half of the last 30 days that bond yields went higher and markets went higher on the same days. It's not about bond yields. So it's interesting. Uh, point that Ed Hyman made, he was on last night. With the inflation, you're getting inflated revenues everywhere. Yeah. And corporate profits, nominal corporate profits, are coming in like gangbusters. So barring an interest rate explosion from the Fed, um, you probably shouldn't sell stocks right now. They may, the sell sign's coming, but maybe not right away. And here's what happens. The prices get sticky of what they pass on to the consumer. Input prices end up coming down. And eventually, these good, well-run multinationals get higher margins out of this period. Run that by me again. The sticky prices do what? The companies of pricing power pass on the impact of inflation. Yes. So their prices go higher. But through time, the input prices, these commodity prices that are hurting, mm. those come down. All right. So that's the go. way it goes. So it's no time to sell. I think that's what I heard, folks. David Bonson. 